Everyone knows that Moby Dick is just a big fish tail. Whales don't attack ships. Especially not the sailboat carrying Ralph Mortis and his friend Paloma on a relaxing vacation sail off Cape Town, South Africa. As going to us that ship now. Evidence of anything like that happening is pretty hard to find. Until now. I just saw the sky darken in front of me. He's a 40-ton right whale, and this 30-foot sailboat is in the wrong place at the wrong time. Ralph and Paloma, seen here in calmer days, are aboard their boat, the Intrepid, enjoying a picture-perfect vacation weekend sailing off Cape Town, South Africa. It was a stunning day in Cape Town. It was a really nice day for sailing, so we decided to go out for a sail. The couple runs a sailing school in Cape Town. They have years of experience, and they know how to handle most emergencies in the water. But there are some things you can never be prepared for. We saw this whale smacking its tail repeatedly on the water. Did a headstand, smacked its tail again, and this went on for about half an hour. At first, it doesn't seem too unusual. After all, it's whale migration season, and sightings of the right whale are common. But that's when Ralph notices the whale is swimming straight at them. A tourist on a nearby sailboat sees it too, and rolls tape on a home video camera. It's going towards that ship now. Yeah. No problem. The whale will most likely swim under the boat and be on his way. It's happened before. So if anything, it'll come under the boat and maybe come up on the other side. Never for a minute thinking that it was on a collision course with us. But Ralph turns to Paloma, who is sitting on the side of the boat nearest the approaching whale. I said to her, I think just to be on the safe side, I don't think it's on a collision course, but to be on the safe side, you better come on the starboard side. Ralph will remember that request for as long as he lives. Because when he turns back to the water, he sees nothing but whale. All of him, literally in his face. The next instant, the sky just went dark. Aye. In one stupendous moment, the whale shoots out of the water and crashes down on top of the Intrepid, snapping the mast like a matchstick. And a photographer on a neighboring boat snaps a picture that sends shockwaves around the world. Ralph is standing directly under 40 tons of instant death. But at the moment of impact, he ducks for cover and comes out without a scratch. I just saw things go dark, this huge thing come out the water. The boat is nearly wrecked, but somehow still afloat. When the whale breached and smacked the mast, the mast obviously went over onto that side, came down and missed me by a few inches and landed onto this uh, barbecue area this way. But in that brief and terrifying instant, Ralph has no idea if Paloma is buried under the whale. The last time he saw her, she was sitting right at the point of impact. It turns out, by simply moving a few feet to the other side of the boat and hugging the deck, Paloma is alive and well. All of a sudden, I hear him from behind say, oh, shit. and I just turn around, and as I turn around, I see this massive black piece of mammal come out the water and hit the mast and obviously instinctively he ducked behind that the steering column and I ducked behind here. And the whale got away okay too with maybe a few cuts and bruises and a goodbye splash. Or is it good riddance? There was no blood or anything like that, which we knew by then that the whale had not been seriously hurt. And then we saw it also at a distance there. We saw it surface again, and we knew the whale was fine. The couple got the Intrepid back to the harbor and back in ship shape. And thank God for a steel boat. I think if it had been a fiberglass boat, it would have cracked and, and, and sunk. How we were alive was, was amazing. And with all that, hopefully the next time they come across a whale, it won't come across the bow. 
I'm sure that when he came out the water and saw Intrepid in front of him, he probably also thought, oh, shit, you know? So it was one of those freak kind of awesome experiences. Aye.